Hello everyone and welcome back to my Fireman Warriors 3 Hopes Let's Play. The last time we basically just did uh, stuff and watched the poor conversations. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, I also excuse me if we didn't end up the part in this area. I don't I don't remember because off screen I did a lot of um, you know a, a reclassing. Well, not reclassing, but well, I, I guess. I think someone got a new class. Yeah, I made him a sniper again and stuff like, you know, you the usual stuff. Give everyone better weapons, reclassing and uh, getting rid rid of the useless weapons. You get so many useless weapons and goddamn, you guys can be really glad that I cut that out because that was forty five minutes of me just going through menus and stuff, and I didn't even realize that. <laughs> also, I um, bought all the advanced and intermediate seals from the. Um, shopkeeper because i forgot that i also oh yeah i kind of <laughs> i really feel bad for monica so i made her a warlock and uh since i i really want to keep her wind colors genesis equipped so i just forced it to 10 because why not also i don't know if i ever have i ever showed that on on uh on camera why do i always say on camera like um in the recording because when you reforge, you can make different weapons out of them. Like when you um, forge something to plus 10, one is obviously um, increase the max uh, forge count you can have, but also you can just make a different weapon out of it, like a wood bow, or with uh, this a long bow or magic bow. I don't think I can do these yet because those are B weapons and I'm probably gonna upgrade this more. I mean, that's kind of cool. I mean, you can't really do that with this one. I mean, that's kind of neat. Especially since you can make, like, um, magic-based weapons out of these. So, if I ever made a magic user, uh, like, a, uh, not brawler, uh, brigand or warrior or whatever, that I could make a magic-based weapon to give them to that. But since I don't really forge that much, yeah, it's, it's kind of... Yeah, I, I... I only keep the rape here because it's a cool weapon, okay? I have so many useless weapons. And some I'm just can't, I just can't... I just won't want to get rid of, but... At least I cleaned up my inventory a little bit. And I prepared Mercedes because she's gonna be... One I'm gonna play as in this mission. And, uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know, I mean, could... I did trade a lot of smithing stones. Actually, I could have checked that. I could have checked that before the episode, huh? Uh, standard combat manual. Let me know if I may be of further service. I mean, yeah, uh, like I, I, I delivered all that. Standard combat manual. Damn, damn. Whoa, that's that's a bit too much. Take these. Whoops. <laughs> now I'm already <laughs> God damn it. Yes, I'm stalling. I'm not really stalling for time, but I want to do this before I forget. Dim, 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 dim. Uh yeah, blacksmith is done, this is done, market play. Merchant's license. Can I get an eight? No, probably not. Uh that's that's the last thing that's missing from the intermediate stuff. Obviously not from this. You can obviously like get it, get it better, but like from this level. Hey, let's see. Let's try. I don't. Much and slice. Uh, whoops. No, no. Uh, Probably no. Only six now. That's a rip. Everything has its use. Only two smithing stones. Oh well. Because this is not how it be. Oh, well, it is how it be, but this is not how, how it goes. You have unlocked the Paralog Battle on Selling Truth. Oh! Alright, oh, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, hmm. Also, this is... Ooh. This is an interesting combination. I'm looking forward to this one. 
But yeah, okay, then we're not gonna play as Mercedes, huh? Oh well. Oh well, I'm sorry. You gotta wait a little bit more on that one. The Leicester mercenaries. And the Victor Private Company. I'm still mad that Lawrence's battalion is better than 30's. I am still mad about that. <laughs> you can't believe me on that. Reporting, your Excellency. Oh god. That that one caught me off guard. Yes, yes. Come in. Greetings, Your Excellency. I think you're supposed to say forgive my intrusion. Right, yes. Forgive me, Your Excellency. What is going on? Listen, Ignatz, I may have a title now, but you and I are still friends as we have always been. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All this formality is starting to make my skin crawl. Please, just treat me the same as ever you have. Oh, right, of course. Anyway, what do you need? You've no doubt heard about the bandits who appeared in Gloucester, yes? The ones who were supposedly former mercenaries. They've been around for a while, right? Yes, my men have been searching for their base for some time now, and I believe they have finally located it. I took the opportunity to look into the provenance of these bandits anew. It seems they were indeed a mercenary band. One in the employ of my father. I see. For some reason, they have abandoned the sellsword life and fallen into banditry. But why would they do that? I do not know. I attempted to discuss it with my father, but his only concern at present is finding me a proper spouse. I mean, he is kind of not the head of the house anymore, but you know, oh well. When I ask, he evades me and changes the subject. Hmm, yes. That's quite the conundrum. Regardless, I cannot ignore these bandits, especially if my father had something to do with them. Thusly, I have decided to deal with them myself, and I was hoping you might join me. Of course. I'm a Knight of House Gloucester, after all. Good. Oh, and as it would be a rather tall order for the two of us to take on a gang of brigands alone, I have called in some additional support. Hey, Lawrence. I came as soon as I could. Just once, I wish one of my acquaintances could split the difference between absurd formality and dire nonchalance. I am a count now, you know. <laughs> Bruh. Wait, so are we not friends because you're a count? No, what I meant to say is... Look, enough with the titles. I'm a busy man, so let's get moving already. I will have you know, a noble is nothing without their... Oh, never mind. I asked you here because I need your help dealing with bandits in my territory. That's it? Well, sure. I'm happy to help. <laughs> that was easy. I suppose it does indeed pay to have some true friends in one's corner. Sure does. Besides, if just you and Ignatz try to do it, you're gonna get kicked into next moon. <laughs> have you ever considered not saying the first thing that pops into your head? The two of us could easily handle this matter. I am simply being prudent. It's, it's very funny considering Lawrence is the one saying this. And when you think back to the support conversation between him and Balthus, that was funny. Also, these are not some run-of-the-mill ruffians, but rather highly trained former mercenaries. Right, the old mercenary to bandit career path. The mercenary to bandit pipeline. They have some connection to my father as well, so I would like to uncover what we can in the process. Um... Wait. Wait why would I be like... I don't expect anything out of me. You got it, boss. If we fight and win, I'm sure some info will turn up on your old man. I am not certain I follow your logic, though I suppose it would be the preferred outcome. Now then, we should be off. With my subjects in peril, there is not a moment to waste. We will depart as soon as you are ready. I'll take my payment in meat, please. I shall tell the kitchen to prepare a ham. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I feel like this is definitely... I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, obviously. But this definitely feels like a paralogue you could also unlock in the um, Golden Deer path. Like, isn't he not just a count? Isn't he, like, like Lawrence, isn't he the head of the house now? So this kind of doesn't make sense that he's a count. Because he should be the head of the house, right? Like his father stepped down, <laughs> so I feel like this is a, this is a, a golden deal uh, paralog. Hmm. 
I mean, yeah, that's basically it. Not much to prepare. I mean, I can save, obviously. Save on the new one. Now I'm really mad that I didn't save after the episode. Because you can tell how much time costs here. But I don't think I saved after the episode. That would be one hour too many. Like between, uh, 48... No, no, 47 and 48. No, 48 and... No, between 48 and 49. No, right. This one. So, yeah. Can't really show you that. Uh, 10 minutes. 1200 enemies, 40% damage. Let's go. I don't know who I want to play as. Probably Raphael. He's a lot of fun. But he doesn't have to spoil now. Okay, defeat the thieves and infiltrate the thief base. Okay. So you do this. You please do not go up there. You you just do this. And I do this. Okay. I say I, even though I'm playing as Ignis. Ooh, I like this one. Honestly, Ignis is pretty good as an assassin because he has the all his attack basically knock the enemies back, and all of these attacks does um, activate his ability. His his personal ability, the the the, the pain stuff. So that's actually kind of cool. I mean, I'm usually not that big of a fan of playing an archer, but I don't know. Why not? I just kind of don't want to play as the main character again. Not, not, not feeling it. Not feeling it today. That's why I'm... And, and, and Ignis has the spoil, so that's that. Not a problem. And I don't... I don't think Raphael has this ball. Yeah. I mean, at, at least he's staying true to, the, to his word and like doing stuff and he's not just a cozy noble, so I can respect that. That's, something. That's a big oof. Hey, he got dexterity, yay! We're near the place where Claude's grandfather met his end, aren't we? Uh. Indeed. I think you are correct. Golden Deer spoilers? Have some connection to that most unfortunate incident. Whoa, whoa. I did not do that, probably. Pro properly. I did it probably, but not probably. <laughs> Speaking is very difficult, I'm sorry, guys. Oh. Th 31? I, for a split. Why do they keep talking so much? God damn it. Um, for, uh, for a second, I thought Lawrence did not get any stats for his level up, and I was like about to say, what? Two, three. No, wait, that's the four attack. Okay. Two, three, four. Okay. What was. Okay, this was this attack. One, two is this one. Okay. Gotta familiarize myself with the. with the. 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 archer. archer type. Haha! -ha. Again. But yeah, I guess Claude's grandfather dies <laughs> at some point. Whoa, oh god! Die, die, die! Well, he died. That is enough for the soldiers outside. Let us proceed to attacking the base. That's very base of you, Lawrence. Uh. Alright. Here I go. 
I said I shouldn't do this. But who am I? Still talking to that. Oh god, that I mean I was about to say that's not a good idea, but apparently that's not, not a bad idea either. What am I even fighting? Uh Yeah, just go fight. Uh uh, this one. By the good name of <laughs> oh no, wait, that's... wait. Eh. Not a problem. I thought that... I didn't, I didn't realize I was effective against this guy. That's a smart move. Don't let the banners reach the evacuation point, okay? You go there. I mean, we're basically already at the go at the right points for this, so. Whoa! Ow! Ouch! 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 Eh! The the the. Uh, the camera is, is is distracting. Well, not just distracting. It's just straight up bad. Two, three, four, five. I was. I like this attack. That's cool. That's cool. Cool beans. Huh. They were merchants, yes? Hmm. Yeah. They were traveling with the old Duke Regan and got attacked by monsters. Okay. So we're we're doing not too hot on the KO count. I mean the other the guys can handle it. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. When my father employed these mercenaries, monster attacks were a rather common occurrence in this region. And these monsters took the lives of both the former Duke Regan and Raphael's parents. Pay attention, lords. You keep staring off in space. Hmm. Oh! Don't interrupt them. Ooh, two strength. Yes, of course. I must focus on the battle at hand. That's you. Yeah, Lawrence, you gotta. You still gotta defeat your guy. I mean. You are the w only one who did he didn't have a weapons advantage, but I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot I gave him the battalion that that, that um I gave her, yeah I gave everyone new battalions as well. And he has obviously one that um covers his weakness, so that makes sense, obviously. That's very colorful. Honestly, I'm like I'm not a fan of Ignace's character, especially, but I kind of really like his artist theme and his artist abilities. Those are look really cool. I got I gotta admit that you know that's just cool stuff. It's just how it is. Oh god, I I didn't I did not mean to press that. Come on. Die. I need I need the healing. Yeah, that was uh that that would have gone better if I had actually locked on. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... No. I... Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. I've got this. You're gonna go All right. 
this way. And yeah, Lawrence is at a not. Now it is my turn. I mean, oh, never mind. Actually, he is pretty close. I thought for some reason I thought he couldn't go through here, and he had to go all the way around. But there is no this is not bad. I'm just gonna do this. Let's go do this. Couldn't they play the animation because he was uh, on the on the because I was on the stairs? It's actually kind of cool, kind of funny. I was I wanted to say. I meant to say. Uh. Oh god, that was a lot of damage because I didn't pay attention. Yeah, this attack is so cool. <laughs> uh. I just don't keep not doing it because I'm too impatient and I, I want to press X too soon. I mean, that is true. That is just true. How many... I mean, we're kind of good. Just gonna take the... I mean, wait... You... I mean, they're still fighting, but we're good on that. You can just take that, and I'm gonna go and take the other territory, and then we should be good on kills. We should be good. Okay. that. And the one. The count? <laughs> Where's your father, you little brat? Retired. I am the Count of Gloucester now. You don't say. In that case, I'll have to take my revenge on you instead. Uh oh. Defeat the band of thieves. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, that's a lot of targets. I think we're good on kill kills. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So. Uh. Assassin, grappler. Go. Yeah, you can. Oh god, you. Okay, never mind, wait. You go fight this one, you fight this one, so that Lawrence doesn't fight him. You. Feed this guy. And yeah, the, the rest is me. <laughs> the rest is just me. You. Just gonna go real quick. No problem at all. On. Yeah, that's like one thing that's really weird of the Archer class is that they're supposed to be long range, but a lot of their like combo attacks are like close range, which is uh, it's kind of kind of awkward. I mean, like I said, I like the the long range attack, but you have a lot of short range attack in there as well, which is like makes it a bit weird. Do, 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 dim, dim. Kill Lauren? Okay. I thought he was done because he was going up, but I guess not. Okay, wait, Lawrence. Okay. Now it is my turn. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, go up there, but that's no. That's a no. That's a hard no for me. Domain, I must do my duty and eliminate these bandits. Do it. 
Yeah, you can't do anything against me. I'm just gonna special attack you and then you're gone. What do you think of this? So very colorful, Lor uh, Ignaz. Not Lawrence. What? 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 What did? What did you do? What? Oh, oh the territory is almost routed. I thought. <laughs> this is awful. We have to do something. Seize the stronghold. For a second, I thought uh, Raphael was almost. Oh, he was almost routed, but he, he used a, a a a thingy. Okay, never mind then. Why though? Like, like a normal, a normal uh, magic user shouldn't be too bad for him. Okay, so. Huh. Okay, no, wait. No, 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 no. I know I'm. Not a problem. I'm gonna go. Got this one. I'm gonna. Like, me, as in Raphael's gonna go and take the territory. Oh, oh, wait. I was literally about to activate my special attack, which. I don't have, so that was kind of awkward. Okay, only one left. Well, both. <laughs> in, in two, two ways, actually. One territory left and one, uh, like one, one, the bandit left. I, I hope I'm faster. I mean, I don't, do I don't even know if the, the mission ends when he's, when, when they're done. Do or if we have a boss at the end. See. Die! Okay, okay, he's dead. That's good. Whoa! Splendid. We have the advantage. Ancient I'm... traitorous nobles tired of beating us up yet. Whoa! I knew it. Okay. <laughs> I literally pressed press plus right before the thing ca uh, came up, but sure. Wait, you claim my father betrayed you? Eh. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 my friend. Well, not my friend, but you know. You know what I mean. You got no chance against all of us. Like nothing. You got nothing on us. Your revenge ends in death. I'm I'm sorry, I'm afraid. <laughs> Look at you, he's just getting juggled. Come I on, you get you get you get finished off with pain. Because yes. Because it's beautiful. Now all I I hope Not all that. Well. You yet. I need to understand what has transpired here. God damn it. <sighs> we did it. We won. Meet party when we get home. And Lawrence is buying. You all go on ahead. I must speak with the bandit we captured. I was literally trying to say, I hope I got the time as well. Which I didn't. Yay, we got ass again! God damn it. I shouldn't have gone for the ballistas. I should have just defeated everyone. God damn it. I found strength in adversity. At least I got something to do off screen now. Getting stronger. 
getting stronger. Magic bow, though. It's kind of weird, I think. Like, I have a magic bow, and I looked at it, it kind of looks like, um, Claude's weapon, a little bit, with the spikes and all. I mean, I know it's not Claude's weapon, but I don't know, like his bow. Yeah. Stuff. Money. Damn, you really do earn a lot of combat if you use this ball, holy shit. Holy moly. There you are, Lawrence. That took so long, I thought maybe that bandit general got you. We had much to discuss, which I will share with all of you now. Did you uncover the reason for their grudge against your father? Indeed. As we suspected, they were once mercenaries in his employ. At first, they were used in the ways one might think. Keeping villages safe, guarding the border, and so on. But one day, they were given a very strange order by a supposed envoy of my father. What was the order? They were told to threaten any merchants heading toward Regan and force them to turn back. Yeah, that's a weird one, all right. The mercenaries felt the same and balked at the idea of raising their swords against unarmed merchants. Instead, they decided to chase a pack of wild monsters into the merchant's path and scare them that way. Um, uh, I mean... Oops. I mean, the plan isn't bad, but... Also... That can go out of control... Very quickly, so... No. Sounds like a good way to get everyone killed. Indeed, you see the matter already. The plan worked, at first. Then one day they caught wind that merchants were approaching and loosed monsters on them per the established method. An ordinary group of merchants would have simply run away and lived. But one among this group drew his sword and began to fight. This was Lord Godfrey, who at the time held the title of Duke Regan. He fought valiantly, but ultimately in vain. Sadly, he perished along with the merchants he had hoped to protect. Merchants... That included Raphael's parents. So the former Duke Regan and Raphael's parents all died because of your dad, Lawrence? So it would seem. I am terribly sorry, Raphael. Please, accept my apology in my father's stead. Hey, knock it off. You didn't do anything wrong. As it happens, my parents were meant to accompany Godfrey that day. But they had a scheduling conflict and recommended that Raphael's parents go instead. Which means... Not you too, Ignatz! Look, everybody. Kids aren't responsible for what their parents do. Lawrence, do we know for sure that the order came from your father? I was wondering the same thing. Your father was always protective of the nobility's reputation, and it seems strange he would do something so sneaky. And so anti-merchant, besides. Based on what the bandits said, I suspect it was someone from our house acting alone. By the time my father realized what was happening, the culprit had vanished, along with any hope of ever sussing out their true motives. God damn it! why did you have to say sus? Only the mercenaries remained, and my father had no choice but to punish them. I bet they didn't care at all about what happened behind the scenes. Far as they were concerned, their employer betrayed them. But I don't get how any of this has to do with you right now, Lawrence. A feudal lord is responsible for all that happens within their realm. Therefore, anything left unresolved by my father falls by necessity to me. I would also like to pay appropriate reparations to both you and your family, as is fair and proper. But I don't need anything from you. I can take care of my family plenty well on my own. Besides, I made my peace with what happened to my folks a long time ago. You can't change that now. All you can do is stir up a bunch of old painful memories. Yes, but still. But nothing. I'm done talking about this. I'll still take my reward for beating up the bandits, though. Meat party, remember? You promised me the finest ham in all the land. And just thinking about it's got me drooling. This does not sit right with me. What should I do? Hmm. Meat party, meat party, meat party. <laughs> Less talk, more ham. And you better have enough for me and Ignatz, too. Oh, uh, right. Very well. 
In that case, I shall arrange for the finest spread of meat the world has ever seen. I stake House Gloucester's very reputation on it. <laughs> now that's the right thing to do. Still feels a little weird to leave it like this. But I guess this is for the best. Aww, I like that one. That was that was a good paralogue. Also, Raphael's really a good boy. Yeah. Oh man, that that was that was good. That was good. But yeah, <laughs> that was good. But also it for the part because um, wow. <laughs> what am I gonna tell you guys? Eh? Eh? But yeah, nothing to report. Nice. This uh, this has been it for the day for for the part for for forevermore no not forevermore but <laughs> for, for for this also not for this recording session probably um yes <laughs> this has been it for this part hope you guys enjoyed this paralogue as much as I did because I I actually thought it was really nice though so, I'm still um, let's say eighty percent sure is probably one you're supposed to play on the golden deer path and not on this path it feels like that anyway i mean obviously they kind of um, wrote it in a way that you can you can play it this time because it makes still makes sense i mean now that i think about it if count is the um top position like the, the head of the house then yeah this all, all makes sense still so it's, it still feels like you should have played that on the goal your path but Whatever, whatever. It was fun. It was good. I liked it, and um, I have hope you guys liked it as well. And yeah, see you guys the next time. Bye bye.